the tallest man in the United States has died. Igor Vodkovinsky passed away from heart disease, according to his mother. At seven feet, eight and a third inches, Igor was certified by Guinness World Records as the U.S.'s tallest man in 2010. He came to the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota from Ukraine in 1989. A tumor pressing against his pituitary gland caused it to secrete excessive amounts of growth hormone. Over the years, Igor seemed to delight in his height and the reaction people had to him. In 2009, he stood out from the crowd at a rally for President Obama, wearing a shirt that read, World's Biggest Obama Supporter. That earned him a handshake from the president. In 2011, he had a small role in the film Hall Pass. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? You can't get any bigger, you little <laughs> But Igor had his struggles, especially when it came to finding comfortable clothing and shoes. In 2012, he put out a plea for donations to have specialty shoes made so he can walk without pain. I've basically been a prisoner of, of my own home, even, even though I'm medically cleared to walk. Where am I going to go in shoes that, that are so painful? While thousands of people donated to his cause, Reebok gave him the shoes for free. I'm looking at your hand. Your hands are huge. Yeah. I mean, compared to, to mine, it's... It's just incredible. He appeared on Anderson Cooper's daytime talk show where he was gifted with a tailor-made wardrobe as well as new shoes. Igor was known around his Minnesota community as a gentle giant and will not soon be forgotten. He was 38 years old. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.